What is happening guys? My name is Jamie, this is the Norwich Reptile Shed and in this video I'm going to give you a nice simple guide on how to measure glass for your custom and DIY vivariums. Now as always there's more than one way of doing things, I'm just going to show you the way I do it and if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel or checked out my other videos you will see that building custom vivariums is definitely my thing, I, uh, we've got tons of them and uh, if you want to see more videos, in-depth videos on how to build actual vivariums, electrics, kitting them out, decorating them, then uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also check out the other videos that I've got on my channel. Okay, so for the tools required, all we really need is a measuring tape. Um, it would help to know the depth of the tracks that we're using. And if we don't know the depth, we can then use maybe a different type of ruler or steel rule, anything like that that we can just poke in and get a measurement. Okay, so if you're using the same method as me with your glass tracks, you'll buy um, two different sizes of glass track will come with a, with a set. You'll have a deeper one and a shallower one. So the shallower one always goes on the bottom, whereas the deeper one goes on the top. The shallow one is going to be what the glass always sits in, and the deeper one is what the glass slides up into to allow the glass to be pulled out from the bottom so we can remove the glass when we need to clean it or do whatever we need to do. So that means when we're measuring the size of the glass, all we need to know is the depth of the shallower piece of track because that's the one that the glass is always going to be sitting in. And this next bit, the, uh, the top bit, all we need to do is measure up to that, which I'll show you in a second. Okay, so if we don't know the depth of this track, all we need to do is offer up our ruler inside the track and we can figure it out. So in my case, I've got five millimeters. This is also probably a good time to tell you that everything I'm gonna tell you in this video is in millimeters. I'm a UK based channel, a UK builder. I've got to work in millimetres, otherwise it's going to get really confusing. The same technique applies, you've just got to use inches rather than millimetres. Okay, so now we know how deep the track is, we can uh, make a note of that. So in my case, it's five millimetres. So I'm just going to write down five millimetres, just so I remember. And now what we need to do is measure the distance between these two tracks. And we'll figure that one out and we'll write that number down. Okay, so we've got the distance between the two tracks, and in my case, it's 579 millimeters. Now, what we need to do is if we've got a piece of glass cut at 579 millimeters, it's going to sit inside the track by another 5 millimeters, so it's going to then be 5 millimeters further away from the top of this track. So, now what we need to do is add that 5 millimeters on, plus in my case, I'm going to add another 2 millimeters on. And that's just going to allow the piece of glass just to slightly sit inside this edge. And the trick is to have your glass fit quite loosely in the top. So then if anything ever sags in the future or you stack vivariums on top of each other, you've got a little bit of movement there that you can be able to slide the glass up still rather than it be tight and then you'll add pressure onto it. Now when I say add two millimetres onto the total of the glass to allow it to poke into the top track, that is the absolute minimum number. You could add a few more millimetres and you would be okay. Um, it all depends really how well you put your track in and how square everything is. I know from experience that two millimetres is okay, but I wouldn't go any lower than that. Um, and you could go all the way up to about four millimetres and you'd still be okay. So here we have our 579 millimetres, which is the distance. We're now going to add five millimetres onto that. So we know that that would then be 584 millimetres. And then we're going to add another two millimetres onto that. So we're going to end up with 586. And that one is our star number. That measurement there is going to be the height of our glass. Now all we've got to do is work out how wide each pane has to be. Okay, so we've got the height of the glass all worked out, ready to go. So now we need to know how wide it is. So for my vivarium and for most people's vivariums, what we're going to need to do is have two pieces of glass and we're going to have to have them overlapping. Now the overlap is a number that can be completely custom to you. I tend to stick to 40 millimetres. Um, 
all I would suggest is if you're making more vivariums is to just keep to that number and that will help make everything look nice in the future. So we've got to remember that number and that's 40 millimeters in my case. Um, so we'll come back to that number in a minute. So the next thing we need to do is measure the clear opening of the vivarium and then all we've got to do is some real simple math and we can then figure out the actual size of our glass. Okay, so we've measured the glass and we know that the actual opening of the vivarium is 1,662 millimetres. So what we need to now do is divide that in two, which gets us to 831 millimetres. And what we now need to do is to get that overlap, we need to add 20 millimetres. So if we want a 40 millimetre overlap, we can halve that for each pane of glass. So when it's actually added on, that will make that 40 millimetre overlap, which will mean that this, the actual grand total is 851 millimeters so there's our numbers so what we need to do now is order some glass 586 by 851 millimeters boom So there we have it guys, a real simple little guide on how to measure glass for your vivarium. I know it's something that everyone panics about, even I panic about it and I've ordered I think 17 panes of glass now in total for all the builds in this shed. So if building custom vivariums and kitting them out for animals is something that you like, make sure you subscribe and check out all my old videos, all the playlists where everything is set out. Everything from insects, we've got scorpions, massive royal python vivariums, we've got it all, we've got it covered. So thank you very much and I'll catch you guys in the next video.